What is up, everybody? Uh, welcome back. First video of 2020. We got the holiday fusions. I have put together every single fusion that I've opened from all of the streams, all the pack openings, and everything kind of let you see how I turned out, I guess. How many vanguards, how many primals, how many nightmares, how many pros. I only did like uh, six holiday pass, and then the rest of them were holiday presents. But y'all have to let me know in the comments. I'm certainly curious. How many did y'all pull? How many did y'all open? I guess that's like 26 or so of the holiday presents, which is pretty good. Especially considering they took 24 hours total. And then at the end of the video, I'm going to, I guess, show you my stats. Which ones I opened and uh, which guys I got, which, which cards I didn't get. Certainly, there were some that I really liked. Certainly, some that I didn't really care about, but that's okay. But uh, yeah, holiday presents, which we are going to start with a Vanguard. Now, um, besides for the first three, the rest of them are in the order in which I pulled them. The first three are from the streams. So if you saw all the past videos, all the past streams, all of these... You're gonna know already what I had, but I thought it'd be kind of neat to compile all of these into one video and then I guess show the stats at the very end and I guess compare with the rest of you to kind of see how many vanguards I pulled compared to how many you pulled, how many pros I got, how many pros you got, what you are happy with, what I am happy with very first one goldberg which is pretty nice now besides for the ones in the actual stream at least for these three i did pay credits for that's because well it was during the stream i thought it'd be kind of fun and uh y'all supported the stream so i thought you know what why not be able to open some during the stream but other than that i kind of you know just waited the 24 hours and opened them so that's why we only got like uh 26 of them but that's still pretty good. Primal Shawn Michaels. You're going to be seeing this guy a lot for sure. How is the Hacksaw Jim Duggan quest going for anybody? Is anybody going to actually get that thing done? I know probably for sure. There's no way that I'm going to do that. That is a whole lot of lumber. I think a whole lot of credits. I'm pretty sure that the card is probably really good and would be really good in the deck, but I think that's just way too many credits for me. Mandy Rose, a beautiful nightmare. I certainly wish this was either a Vanguard or a Primal. At least the Fire and Desire was in a higher tier than Nightmare, but I'll take that one too. Now the rest of these are going to be ones that I've recorded on my phone, so they're going to go by just a little bit quicker which is pretty nice you know uh be able to fly through xavier woods probably one of the ones that i got at least in the beginning it was kind of interesting i guess that uh these are now i guess in the order in which i got them and when i first started getting them man i was getting like nightmare after nightmare after nightmare and then after i got like a week or two into it after i opened like eight or ten of them then the primals started coming then i just kept getting more primals and primals and then every once in a while, I guess in between, I was able to pull a Vanguard. But uh, I mean, overall though, with all of the different ones, what was there? I think, what, seven different ones in every single tier. So that's 21 total, assuming that it's seven. I think that it's seven, but uh, that's 21 total. And I only did not get, let's see, four of them. I believe four, no, five five of them so out of the 21 i did not get five of them and for being that i opened up 26 let's say uh that's a whole lot of singles that is a whole lot of singles to only not get five of them and um as far as vanguards pros that was a little bit disappointing but the rest of them pretty nice i did i was able to pick up a tier three one so we'll go and kind of look at that kind of compare how that is to a vanguard how close it is to a vanguard nowhere near tier three on the nightmares but i did get one of them on the primals which is pretty nice but anyways dude back to the hacksaw uh what do y'all think about the quest what do y'all think about the card i think the card looks really good i like the stars and stripes and all that stuff or really the stars i guess red white and blue and all that and uh the card looks really nice card looks like it'd be super powerful i could certainly use it for king of the ring i've been doing pretty well in that especially picking up this event card i'm going to be able to get even though it's not the heroic 
and all the other event cards. I've been doing pretty well with being able to pick those up. Hopefully, I think maybe tomorrow. I think I'm planning on at least tomorrow to be able to uh, be able to stream the Road to Glory, finish getting the final Sheamus for that event card. I kind of want to get through on the heroic side, but we'll just have to see how fast I can get done on this one. Man, another Vanguard. Rowdy Roddy Piper. How many of the Vanguards were you able to get and pro up? I'm a little bit disappointed that I wasn't able to get one single pro as far as the Vanguard goes. I don't really think, at least compared to everybody else, that I picked up as many vanguards as a lot of people but there were people another vanguard right there but there were people that i know that sent me the pictures like uh many people ricochet many people sent me pictures of tier three sonya cards which obviously you need a whole lot of nightmares to be able to get up to tier three so maybe i don't know maybe what i pulled was about normal maybe the percentages for each of the tiers was about normal Really don't know, but I still think at least the ones that I got, I'm able, I was happy that I was able to pro up at least the two that I wanted to in Nightmare. I was happy that I was able to get at least a tier three for one of them, even though it was just a primal. And uh, another Vanguard, Kofi Kingston. The Vanguards I picked up definitely more towards the end. Um, I don't think, I don't know, maybe I got one within the first 10. And then maybe one within the next 10. And then at the very end, man, they just started flying out. Same with the Primals. Very rarely got a nightmare, at least like the last 15 of them. Shawn Michaels. If you haven't told, if you couldn't figure out by now, you know, Shawn Michaels was the one that I was able to tier three. That Nikki Cross was the very last fusion and really happy about that one because I definitely needed a female pro, at least primal or up, even though we did get the Sonya pro, which was nice. We got three of the uh, Mandy Roses, which means that is a tier one. But let's take a look at the actual stats. 11 nightmares 11 primals four vanguards those are all the ones that i was able to pick up um what was that like guess mark henry for the nightmare primal i was missing triple h and then the vanguards we missing uh the two females and then someone else uh samoa joke so i guess three for the vanguard and then one primal one nightmare but three Mandy Rose, which is nice. I wanted that pro. The Sonya, I wanted that pro. Xavier Woods, that was the only one. I know I got three of them, but I couldn't find the video of the third one. It's in there somewhere. I guess I just missed it. But uh, five Shawn Michaels. So tier three on the Fortified for the Shawn Michaels, which was nice. And all of the Vanguards, unfortunately, were all singles. Not able to pick up a single pro. But still, like I said, this Holiday Fusions was certainly much better than the ones that we've had in the past, especially compared to the Holloway, Halloween event. And the actual stats on the Shawn Michaels. Now, I don't really have a whole lot of Vanguard pros to compare this to. I have a crazy number of Vanguard singles, by the way. I'm up to like 36 total Vanguard singles, which is absolutely ridiculous. And only two of them our pros which you know you see right there kevin owens and kyle o'reilly so really not a lot of pros to compare this to now kyle o'reilly is obviously not the worst vanguard pro but if we look at the Shawn michaels tier three stats 1.57 million we look at the kyle o'reilly it's a little bit better you know we have the toughness and the speed like forty thousand or so points better but other than that, you know, it's pretty comparable. I think uh, maybe total less than 100,000 stat difference. So that makes me think that there's going to be at least some vanguards, at least low tier, bottom tier vanguards that Shawn Michaels could probably beat. We throw a momentum on this thing and it's certainly going to be better than Vanguard Pros, which is kind of cool. So I am happy that I was able to pick up a tier three. Certainly rather it be a female that I could use for 
quite some time, but we'll still find some use out of this Primal Shawn Michaels, especially since it's taken me so long to get Vanguard Pros. But anyways, that is going to do it for the video. So y'all have to let me know again in the comments. Let me know how many Vanguards, Primals, and Nightmares you got. I certainly want to compare what I pulled to what you pulled, and hopefully everybody had a happy holidays. I hope I can stream tomorrow and get out a couple other things. I wanna show all of the cards from season one and season two that we got in those free packs and stuff. Put a video of all of those images because a lot of those cards, especially season one, I have never seen before. So I'm assuming that many people probably the same thing. But like I said, hopefully everybody had a happy holiday, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year's and all that stuff. I'll see everybody again very soon. Y'all take it easy. I'm out, peace.